yo, I think NVIDIA just really changed the game. You see this video right here? They did a presentation about how their computer graphics have been really, really good over the years. But when artificial intelligence is added to it, it changed the game completely. Now, we're going to watch this video together so you can see it for yourself. Now, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell NVIDIA. I'm here to give you the facts so you can be the judge. Now, turn your volume up. And let's get right into it. This episode is brought to you by the Momo Investing app. Use the link pinned to the top comment. If you haven't started your investing journey today, or if you're using other apps, then I encourage you to use Momo so that you can, first of all, get the free stocks, but on top of that, get access to a lot of the information that helps me to be extremely successful on the stock market. And you can start your investing journey today, whether you're a beginner or an advanced trader. But I want you to see this video about NVIDIA stock. Now, this one comes from a YouTuber who goes by the name of ticker symbol Y-O-U, and it says NVIDIA's huge AI breakthroughs. Now, we're going to watch this video together, and family, I'm telling you, you really got to pay close attention to understand what's going on here. NVIDIA is currently the sixth biggest company on earth, but if they can execute on a lot of these things, it's looking like they could get into that top five spot. Not overnight, but over time, but we shall see as time goes on if they're actually pulling in the money that they're saying that they can pull in with the things that they are doing. So turn your volume up, let's start this one together. The computing challenge. Six years ago, we demonstrated for the very first time rendering this scene in less than a few hours. Let's take- So he's talking about this scene right here on the bottom. It's basically a still image, right? But he's showing you and going through the timeline of how they've gotten better and how they've actually done something that is a game changer and just showing you with this still image. Ready? Take a look at the difference in just five years. Roll it. This is running on CUDA GPUs six years ago, rendering this beautiful image that would have otherwise taken a couple of hours on a CPU. So this image took hours and hours and hours to render, just this image alone. Notice that you can see it's, it's a good one, but it's kind of dull. You can't really see the sun rays coming in on it appropriately, but he's just going to show you the evolution of how they are really about to change the game with artificial intelligence. Let's keep it going. So this was a giant breakthrough already. Enormous speed up running on accelerated computing. And then we invented the RTX GPU. Run it, please. Just so you can see what happened here, they took this image and they brought it to life by making a new kind of graphics card using artificial intelligence that added in new pixels where AI assumed that they should be. So now you had a still image and now you can see new sun rays that weren't there before, better reflections, and the processing is so fast and so inexpensive that it's supposed to revolutionize computer chips and phones, computer chips done basically in gaming, in all areas of life. And NVIDIA is standing in front of this family, so we got to keep our eyes on this company. But let's keep it going so we can see even more as to how he explains what's going on. The holy grail of computer graphics ray tracing is now possible in real time. AI made it possible for us to do that. Everything that you saw would have been utterly impossible without AI. For every single pixel we render, we use AI to predict seven others. For every pixel we compute, AI predicted seven others. Every pixel in that original image, artificial intelligence predicted seven others, and then it was able to make it so you can move the picture around. But this same kind of artificial intelligence that they're infusing into this image, it's not just about images. This is about how it's going to revolutionize even artificial intelligence by making it more efficient and faster at the same time. So let's go over here and then let's see how they got a new computer chip coming out with a new software system. So let's see. It. The amount of energy we save, the amount of performance we get is incredible. We used AI to render the scene. We're gonna also use AI to bring it alive. Today we're announcing NVIDIA ACE, Avatar Cloud Engine, that is designed 
for animating to bringing a digital avatar to life. It has several characteristics, several capabilities. Speech recognition, text-to-speech, natural language understanding, basically a large language model. If you've used ChatGPT in the past, maybe you have, maybe you have not, but you understand that this is a chat bot where you basically get into a chat conversation and you could ask it almost anything and it understands what you're talking about and it remembers previous conversations. Family, they're saying that in the gaming industry, they're going to disrupt it so much that what is likely to happen is take a look for yourself. Articles are coming out already. June 2nd, 2023, NVIDIA may change gaming with new generative AI technologies. They're saying that NVIDIA's new AI is coming for absolutely every gaming job. Family, does this mean that this will happen for sure? I'll tell you this, this is extremely disruptive. And you've already seen what disruptive technologies do to industries. You've seen Tesla come out with electric cars and popularize them. And you've seen how all of the legacy car makers have been following behind Tesla, trying their best to now Everybody got an electric car, Toyota, they got Mercedes Benz, BMWs. Everybody's making electric cars now because the EVs have disrupted that space. Now Nvidia is making artificial intelligence disrupt everything. And they're showing you how crazy it can get. So now with Nvidia Ace, this new cloud product that they're talking about here, they're saying that if you make video games and you write the scripts for video games or you create the characters or you write the stories for it, then this thing right here, just what they're using, just to make artificial intelligence better, could take your job and then some. So let's go ahead and see an example. And using the sound that you will be generating with your voice, animate the face. And using the sound and the expression that you're saying, animate your jet with ray tracing. So this character here is not a real character that anybody wrote or anything like that. He's a character who they told him what his backstory was, like they were talking to a chat bot, and then he's just acting as if he's he has some understanding of who he is, and now he's talking to the character. So let's listen. Hey, Jen, how are you? Unfortunately, not so good. How come? I am worried about the crime around here. It's gotten bad lately. My ramen shop got caught in the crossfire. Can I help? If you want to do something about this, I have heard rumors that the powerful crime lord Kuman Aoki is causing all sorts of chaos in the city. He may be the root of this violence. I'll talk to him. Where can I find him? I have heard he hangs out in the underground fight clubs on the city's east side. Try there. Okay, I'll go. Be careful, Kai. None of that conversation was scripted. We gave that AI, this Jin AI character, a backstory. None of that was scripted. They gave him the backstory. And then he just said, okay, so this is who I am. So this is who I will act as. And they even had it so his lips were moving at the same time as the words that were coming out of his mouth. They were animating his face to make it make sense in his gestures. So this is supposed to revolutionize the gaming industry. And when you look at Nvidia stock right now, now I wanna be absolutely clear on this. The stock with what Nvidia currently owns and what they currently earn technically it's overvalued when you look at the fundamentals what they bring in versus this stock technically meaning that if they keep earning at this level this stock will not stay at 390 dollars. it would drop dramatically but with everything that they're pushing out they're saying that they're going to earn significantly more money and if they can execute on that then this stock price will be justified and then even 500 could be justified I want to just give you an example of that. And again, it doesn't mean that it will happen. Take that with a grain of salt because they can't tell the future, but they're saying that they have the keys to the future. So let's see this. We talked about the P ratio in the past. Again, P ratio is the price to earnings ratio. If you want to understand it thoroughly, you can take a screenshot of this right here because this is the definition. But the P ratio of NVIDIA is 172. People generally like to buy companies when the P ratio is like 12 or even comparable to the Fortune 500 companies at like 25 or 29 right now, this is 172 telling you, oh, the price of the stock is way overvalued compared to what they earn. But this is the PE of what they earn right now. If they earn significantly more in the future, this PE number will come right down and the stock price can stay the same and if not go even higher. So what do we wanna look at now? 
It's called the forward PE ratio. So get your notebooks out for this one. I want you to write this one down. The forward PE ratio on NVIDIA is 53, meaning what they anticipate to earn in the future, right? In even a year, they're saying that their stock price can stay right where it is because their earnings is going to jump up about 50% more than where it is right now. And then that could bring their PE ratio down to a much more normal level, which means the stock, if they can execute on all of this, has the potential to run. But remember, we can't tell the future. We ain't passing the low seat. So with all of that being said, we got to keep our eyes on the macroeconomic world in general. So what do I mean by that? I'm talking about things like this, how Biden said the debt ceiling, that crisis, he said, has been averted because basically, as you understand that he's signing it into law right now, that the debt ceiling, the America's credit card that they've been swiping is going higher and higher and higher. So it's looking like we are in a baby bull market and NVIDIA. If they can execute on everything that they said, family, they are very likely to be one of the winners of this upcoming potential bull market so i love y'all i appreciate y'all again hit the moomoo link in the top comment if you want to support the channel and get some free stocks and start your investing journey today join the discord so that you can learn how to trade options trade stocks and stack your cash with a real smart plan baby i see you over there i love y'all and hit the like button if you haven't done so already and subscribe if you want to get more take care